All set, BD. <laughs> All right, and with BD's beep beeps, welcome back to Jedi Survivor, my campaign playthrough. Uh, we, last time we left off, last episode, we kind of just got into Jedi, experienced some frustrations, which I kind of cut most of that out. So you guys didn't have to be frustrated as well. And now we got to go back to that main gate. Here. Um, and actually, we have a shortcut. Oh, he got me. All right, where am I? Um, I don't think it's going to let me even go to the shortcut. Okay. Over here. Yep, there it is. Oh my god, come on. Now I don't have any force left. I was just going <laughs> to jump down there and go nuts. Okay. The enemy has a laser sword. Watching me? Like old times. 
surprised to see me. I thought they'd send someone a bit more, uh, unfamiliar. I would not be so quick to judge, Calcastus. Much has changed since we last saw each other. I can see that. Come. My speeder is this way. Your land speeder? Stormtroopers found it. Then we will take care of them. And it looks like they found us too. You ready? Just try to keep up, Jedi. <laughs> Okay, this fire guy is pissing me off. Yeah, I see it. I'm with you, Jedi. Not really. I haven't really learned much of anything new. I picked up an ascension cable. See anything I can latch onto? How's this? That'll do, I guess. Traveling the galaxy. What are you doing on Jeddah? Jeddah is part of the galaxy. Good to know. I visit Seer from time to time. When I heard the Mantis was arriving, I offered to guide you. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. We must get to the other side. Okay. You better move out of the way. Stormtroopers. We should circle around Anything? and ambush them from above. I like the sound of that. They'll be back for this fear. How do you know? Just a fear. Pretty banged up one. We need to take them down before more arrive. Just like that time on Narshida? Precisely. I'll follow your lead. That's a first.
okay? Of course. Unlike my speeder. Even if the storm subsided, Seer is too far to reach on foot. Nice. What are you thinking? Might be able to hitch a ride. All right. Follow me. All right. I'll follow you. You haven't learned to fly yet, have you? Afraid not. Then we must find another... There. See it? I do. What? Okay. There we go. You haven't lost your edge. BD seems a step slow. Learn to take a joke, droid. I wish you could teach me how to do that. Through here. That teleporting. Trying to kill me? Sorry, I thought. It's all right. Stand back. I will fix this. What are you doing? Restoring the pattern you threw into chaos. Incredible. That looked exhausting. You need a break? The storm is coming. I will rest when we arrive at Seer Place. Where did you learn that? Dasemir. You went home? Yes. My sisters are gone. But their wisdom remains. <laughs> ah, the spammels. They stopped at an oasis. Getting closer. Getting closer. Come on, buddy. The creature is gone, but it will return. We should never have made this journey. May the Jedi protect us. What group of pilgrims are assaulted by a creature on their travels? Afterwards, they pray to the Jedi for protection. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. Won't open from this side. No word yet. Keep trying to establish contact. Let's take them down. Oh. 
Thanks, buddy. Baron, you got it? Of course. I'll what's what's over here? That is not the way to see it, please. Just want to check it out real quick. I will stay here. Good point, cool. Did you find something? Yeah. You should try taking detours more often. I traveled all over the galaxy. <laughs> Remember? How could I forget? I like that they have a conversation about Cal, about exploring other little areas to find things. Another skill point. We have two now. Find what? something, buddy. What's this? Ancient ruins. The ancient civilization who built this place ended long ago, but pilgrims still journey to these ruins to study them. Bye bye. Someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. It must have taken lifetimes to build this place. Now the people who built it are gone. I came across the remnants of many civilizations during my travels. All things decay, Calcastus. Not everything. I missed your optimism. It is rare in the galaxy these days. Um. Okay, that works too. What's in the box? <clears throat> Common plastoid BD1 material. 
colors. What is this? Those look like Jedi. Seer says Jeddah was once home to many. A mural, a mural depicting a war between ancient Force users and an unknown foe. Some figures bear striking resemblance to Jedi. Perhaps they were. My kind. Should reevaluate our setup. Okay. Got light metal, Jedi paint. Do the Dura Steel. Some silver alloy there. A grip. Make it Jedi tan. And it doesn't need to be polished. And then condition. Make it pristine. It works. I mean, it looks great. BD1, you got some new stuff. Like that. Like that one. Got some new audio sensors. There we go. Make you a little more streamlined, sleek looking. Like the new look? Cool. Um, and it's been a while since we've changed his customization. We'll keep the, uh, the man bun.
Okay. I want to change the color though. There we go. Now we can see those his lightsaber better too. Oh, uh, where are we going? I just, yeah, came from that way. Know who this was? I don't, but Sirma. Baby, does he look like Cal? <laughs> Ready yourself for combat. You always love to climb. Comes in handy. If that was a joke, I hope you fall. Activate that shortcut and do some BD scanning. I like her new look. I'm newer to its weaker right side without the giant claw. Breaking the large left claw will expose the creature, but it is but is a most dangerous tactic. Jetta is home to many dangerous creatures, but few are as ruthless and unpredictable as the Scryton. A lopsided creature, the Scryton's left claw is huge and incredibly powerful. Not only is it able to crush its prey easily, but it can also resist several heavy strikes. Its movement is erratic and hard to predict, making the Scryton one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. And we took it down with ease. Help me out. Must I? Yes, you must. Thanks. Seer would be disappointed if I left you to die in the desert. The spammel. You really think you can pull more? Worth a shot. PD says beep boop. Taking things in. Anything? I wonder what Spamel eat. What do you eat, please? The storm nears. We must go. Hey. 
Pilgrims save. Three pilgrims come across an oasis, saving them from certain death. They attribute this mercy to an act of the Force. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. <clears throat> Do I detect a little bit of a romantic interest there? Huh? God, these things have tall ass legs. Is the base far? Not with our new friend. And now we have time to catch up. No kidding. It's been years. You must have seen the entire galaxy. Almost. How was it? Amazing. The sinking city of Karatao, the Persia cliffs. This galaxy suffers. There is still beauty. Any run ins with the Empire? Yes. These are dark times. I helped those I could. I'm just glad you're all right. You as well. Wherever I went, you were never far from my thoughts. That's the way back. Boop! I've never That's seen right, BD. Like that. It's hard to tell how long one will last. Let's not wait to find out. My thoughts exactly. You've avoided Seer for years. Why visit her now? I need her help. We're looking for something connected to the Order. Interesting. Are you still upset with us for leaving? I didn't see it coming, Marin. All of us going our separate ways. I understand, Cal. But we had our reasons. friend can you go any faster we have to hurry faster uh oh there's some walkers ATSTs
Fantasy. Desert crabs. How much, how far do we have to run for this respawn? Okay, not far. Why am I not blocking shit? Uh, I don't remember these being that tough in uh, the first one. I wish I would stay locked onto it. Yeah. 
Okay. Maybe being locked on isn't a good idea. See you later, bye! Well, that's good. Okay. The Spamel saved us. So we can forgive it for leaving us to die. Agreed. Set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. All right. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can, not staying in one place too long. Mm. And, um, I think we might have found something special place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And, and the fight is all I know. Cal. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company on dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path. Until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad either. I missed you, Marin. And I, you. I had to leave, Cal. In order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home. It does not need to define me. I never understood why you left. But sitting here now, it's clear you made the right choice. Screenshot that moment. You missed a spot. Morning. 
The weather has cleared. Let's go. Let's go. Jedi meteorology. The cold deserts of Jeddah are prone to extreme weather events, the most common of which is the sandstorm. Loose desert sand whipped up by the winds that howl through valleys and down from the mountains forms into an abrasive flurry. They are to be avoided at all costs, such as their power. They will strip the plating from any ships caught in their path. Oh, that sucks. Hey, perspective. While taking refuge from a desert storm in a cave, Cal confesses that he's afraid to abandon his fight against the Empire the que and questioned why Marin left the crew. Marin explains that, having spent most of her life on Dathomir, she had to leave in order to see the galaxy on her own terms. Got here. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know, but I am excited to meet you. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Oh. My loon saloon. He named it after his great friend. Nothing's more important to Grace than family. Got it. How do I get? Okay. There we go. Slide. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Whoa, cow. Hey, that's Cordova. it's an honor the hermit from the first planet in the first game I never thought i meet you in person the honor is mine cal seers told me everything you have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity you chose well well i wouldn't go that far <laughs> The Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. 
How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? What's this way? I know. I want to see what's this way. Nothing. The space is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how is the desert? Cold, stormy, too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. A habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communication. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in there somewhere? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That team is wrong. Uh, hello? Ah, there. Just keep trying. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. We're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. <laughs> but something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network. Known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like... Like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And Force sensitives. And those who help them. What do you tell me? You never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can't resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, thought you'd just given up. I was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. No 
there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. But that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this. Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality. <laughs> Kind of creepy, though. Yeah, well, it's good to see you two Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. hello, VD. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi, and now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the Archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, boy, this guy knows his audience. <sighs> I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. Okay. Well, that'll be it for this episode. If you watched this far, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you all. I hope you all have a great day. See you later. Bye.